we starting to vlog off hot this weekend with a package. We about to try on some stuff. Happy Friday. Welcome to another weekend vlog. I ordered some trousers from ASOS. What is this hard thing in here? I ordered some trousers from ASOS and we're about to try them on. So let's do it. Anyway, if you're new here, my name is Angela. If you like what you see, make sure you comment and like and subscribe and stick around for more weekly vlogs. I've been uploading shorts every day for the month of May, meaning the last few days. Um, I'm going to try to upload my Instagram content to, not Instagram. I don't post on Instagram like that for real. Um, my TikTok content that I think is suitable for shorts. I'm also going to be posting them on shorts because some people aren't on TikTok. Go figure. Anyway, so make sure you check out my shorts as well. They done sent me some extra. Thanks. I like to chew gum, so whatever. Anyway, let's get into this actual package. I need to lower this camera. Yeah, hold on. So now I feel like y'all too low. I'm in the entryway in my apartment because I'm trying to get like decent light. So I feel like if I angle the camera this way, I can try on the pins and y'all can see it in the mirror. Yes, no? I don't know if that's gonna work out. And also, y'all, this stuff, remember last week I said that this cleaning stuff been sitting in this hallway? It's still sitting there. I have not, I have not clean the bathroom but I'm about to I'm, I'm, I'm about to tonight I ain't gonna film it cuz I'm embarrassed of what it looks like but I'm about to clean it up anyway let me try to figure out this mirror situation I feel like y'all can see me let me figure it out let me figure it out I feel like you can kind of see it but not good enough anyway let's just start looking at the paint we'll figure it out so I needed like a light, like khaki color pant, but not necessarily khaki. I think this is like some sort of faux linen. I don't even remember what I ordered, but they're all ASOS design, I believe. And I got them all in a size eight. So I'm gonna take my shorts off and try these on. Okay, so this is the first pair. They fit, praise God. Um, so I don't need to get them tailored or anything. Cause one thing about me, I don't care where I buy the pants from. If they need to be tailored, they're gonna be tailored. So this is the top of them. Now I have to figure out how to show y'all what they look like at the bottom. Y'all can see that in the mirror, right? My butt look good. Oh, I had on a bodysuit at work today. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then this last pair is another pair of like oversized dad style trousers. I should have got these in black too. I really like these. And I think I had them in black in my cart and I took them out. But anyway, I like the fit of these. Um, they have like a little elastic in the back, but they do have like a button and zip in the front. I like the length. The fabric is really light and breathable. I'm gonna be wearing hell out of these. I can tell you that right now. I was saying, I was thinking this is just going to be like a vlog exclusive because I don't feel like... <laughs> trousers are exciting enough um for tiktok i don't know i might wake up tomorrow and be like i am gonna make a tiktok of my new trousers but i don't know we'll see uh so anyway that's that's new in i also ordered some new workout tops i have these workout this one workout top from h&m that i love and um i ordered one the last time i ordered like some active wear from h&m like a couple years ago and they sent me an extra small and i ordered a medium so i didn't really wear it that much because it's like tight but I love the way that it looks. So sometimes I'll still wear it, like I wore it yesterday. And as soon as I put it on, I was like, let me go on H&M and see if they still have um, this workout top so that I can like order some in my actual size of a medium. Because I actually look, really like the way that they look and you know, um, like the performance of it. So I ordered that. It's already shipped, but I don't know if it's gonna come um, before this vlog is done. So I'll put a, a actually I'll just show you in next week's vlog. That's what I'll do. But anyway. I like my new pants. Um, I'm gonna clean all this stuff up. And I think that new season of Bridgerton, Bridgerton, Bridgerton is on Netflix. So I'm gonna watch that and I'll catch y'all tomorrow for our workout. I did sign up to go do like this run thing, but I don't think I'm gonna do that. I think I'm gonna just go do my regular workout. We shall see. When I was vegan, I used to make this all the time. They used to call it nice cream back in the day. It's literally the same concept of like an acai bowl. So this is like frozen pineapple, strawberries, and a little bit of frozen banana. 
blend it with uh, just a little bit of milk not enough so it'll be like a smoothie consistency but like you know the acai bowl type of consistency and I swear I used to eat this all the freaking time when I was vegan because baby I love me some ice cream I got a little bit of granola cereal left I'm about to put that on here with do I want a scoop of peanut butter I think so hold on okay let me hurry up before this meal I did put a little honey in there also for a little extra sweetness I'm gonna put a little bit of this Justin's peanut butter. Oh, it's hard. I'm sorry, I like my peanut butter cold. <laughs> Don't judge me. I'm a kind of a cold condiment person, just in general. Anyway, I'm just gonna put a chunk right there and I'll eat it in there. It's not gonna be one of them pretty acai bowls at all. Baby, I'm 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 about to eat that. I'm about to eat that. It ain't gotta be pretty. And then I'm gonna just put some of these leftover little crumbs from my maple uh, pecan cereal. It be so many crumbs in there, it's annoying. But I love it, it tastes so good. So I'm gonna put some of that on there. Ooh. And that's it. That's a ghetto acai bowl, but it's gonna be good. It's not even an acai bowl, cause there's no acai in here. Ghetto nice cream bowl. I'm gonna say the rest of that just in case I want a round two. Don't say I ain't never told y'all nothing. <laughs> this is always barely cooking with Angela. Barely cooking with Angela. Mm hmm. Good morning, happy Saturday. I just got in from the gym. I did make a couple stops. I got me some coffee. I freaking love Phil's coffee. I love Phil's coffee. It's so good. I always get the Tesora. Uh, this is the iced one. It's warm outside. You know, we get iced coffee when it's warm. This is iced Tesora, medium sweetness with almond milk. And then I just get the same thing hot when it's colder outside. Bomb.com. Then I stopped in Target because one thing about me, in the warmer months, in the summer, spring, I'm going to have me some men's Hanes t-shirts. It's like the perfect crew neck. It's like the perfect height. The perfect sleeve length. I always get it in like a small. I grab a pack of those. Wear them out. They get yellow under the piss, whatever. I buy more. They only $18. And you get six, right? Uh, so I had to stop and get some of those. I also like to get uh, the like the beaters. But I get those in little boys. And I have like a Target Express, which is like one of those little Targets. My house. They don't have kids sections in there. So I'm just going to order some off of Amazon. These are like a staple in my wardrobe um, in the spring and summer months because like when it's hot outside, especially now that I'm going back to the office, I can literally throw one of these on a pair of those slacks that I showed y'all last night, grab a sweater, put it around my shoulders, put it on when I get to the office when it's cold, take it off, you know, and be comfortable and breathable like, you know, walking to and from the train on those like super hot days. Anyway, so need that. Same thing with beaters. Same thing with beaters. I'll show y'all the fit. Let me cut on a light and see if we can get some better lighting up in here. Hold on. It ain't that bad now, is it? Oh, it ain't that bad. I ain't cutting no go light. Y'all will be okay. It might be a little grainy, but y'all, y'all will be okay. I had a good workout today. I ran into a dude <laughs> that I gave my number to a long freaking time ago. And then I ain't seen him for a long time. And then every time I see him in the gym, he asked me for my number again. I'm like, dude, whatever. <laughs> Leave me alone. Leave me a freaking long, okay? Anyway, like I said, just plain white t-shirts. Get them in a size small, cause they like the perfect fit. You get six for $18.99, you can't beat that. Don't mind my bloated belly and hairy underarms that we just on the struggle bus this week. See, it's just the perfect fit. Crew neck is the perfect height. Uh, it's tight to the neck. It's not like droopy. Y'all know we do not like no droopy necks. Sleeves are the perfect length. The shirt is the perfect length for like tucking and even like leaving a little bit out. If you want a more oversized look, you can go to mediums or whatever. But I like the smalls in the way that they fit. So yeah, just wanted to show y'all that. Go spend $18 on six white t-shirts and get your life. So it's Sunday morning. My alarm was set for seven, but it's 6.52 and I couldn't sleep any longer. Um, so... We are about to sort a load of laundry, just like my gym clothes. Like I have to wash those every week because they stink. 
Um, so we are about to sort some laundry. I'm going to throw that in the washer while I'm on my run. Same as last week. Um, we're going to do a couple miles and then come back, put the clothes in the dryer, hop in the shower. Run to Trader Joe's, get groceries. Um, I'm trying to do everything I need to do before, um, like two or three because the rain is supposed to start. So we are just going to do everything we need to do back and back. I think I need to stop at Target after I leave, um, after I'm doing my run, before I come back to hop in the shower because, oh, that's underwear. I'm just fold up. <laughs> Sorry. I was saying I need to stop at Target, um, after my run because I need to get some Drano for the shower. I need to get, like, a new shower, like, nitty loofah thing. Um, it's something else I need to get that I can't remember at this moment, but I need to grab a couple things from Target. So I'm going to stop there, too. So lots and lots to do. The lighting looks crazy in this closet, but what's new about this apartment just in general? <sighs> anyway. This campus is so beautiful. The flowers haven't bloomed yet, but once they bloom, y'all, it is ridiculous. But I love like this old Hogwartsy vibe that it gives. This is the University of Chicago. Uh, I run on this campus often. I actually used to work here. Um, and I would go on walks on my lunch, like all through, uh, the university. This is like the quiet area. And when the flowers bloom, it's like the most beautiful and also creepy thing that you've ever seen, but I love it here. I love it here. And I always take a break between my mouths and just sort of like sit and walk around and look at how like the ivy and stuff just grows up the buildings. It's gorgeous. I love it. I had a good first mile. It was a good run. I actually could have just kept on powering through the two but I'm trying to savor this beautiful morning. It feels good, it's a lot warmer than what I thought it was going to be. So I put this sweater on thinking sweater shorts, I should be fine, I shouldn't be too cold. Got out here and it's, baby, I'm piping hot. Um, but it's beautiful, I'm enjoying it. So I'm taking a little bit of a walk and then I'll wrap it up because I need to put my clothes in the dryer. I need to stop at Target, like I said. So I have a couple things that I need to do. This is definitely gonna be a short vlog because I didn't really do anything. Last night I ended up talking to my friend on the phone for like a few hours and we talked about so much stuff or whatever and it's some some stuff that i need to start working on that we were talking about i'll we'll chit chat about that later um but yeah so after i got off the phone with her i just laid on the couch and finished bridgerton and then that was a wrap so yeah we'll chit chat a little later i'm gonna do a little more walking and then um finish out this run so the first thing i need is a loofah and i'm kind of annoyed because they don't have white ones and i know somebody gonna say you should try the nets y'all know that i have skin lupus i have compromised skin and those nets are a little too aggressive for my skin so i always go with the loofah and they don't have any white ones i don't know why i think white has less like dye in them or something but anyway i go home and like rinse them off before i actually use them anyway so we'll do blue that's the closest to white that they got so we need that and i need some sunscreen bad even if it's just some everyday sunscreen it doesn't have to be like my really good sunscreen let's see if they have some unseen in here though sometimes target has unseen sunscreen but it's the ones that have like the ulta in it and this one doesn't this isn't in the skincare aisle though hold on let's turn around i'm gonna have to stop being lazy tomorrow and when i get off the train from work just stop in ulta and get some um unseen sunscreen because i don't they don't really have anything they, like they don't even have the black girl sunscreen in here which sometimes i use so we'll wait until tomorrow to go to ulta anyway let's get cleaning stuff i need some new like oh i lie here it is right here let me just go and grab a bottle of this and then i'll grab some um, insane sunscreen tomorrow too. <sighs> anyway, we need cleaning stuff. How you doing? I need some wet jet Swiffer stuff. And I think I still have some pads, so I should be good on that. Do I need anything else? I think I'm good on anything else right now. So we didn't need cleaning stuff. We needed a cleaning product. All right. I think that might be it. Actually, let me go ahead and get my snacks out of here for the week as well. Okay, so we ended up getting pretzels and hummus for a snack, as well as some um, pistachios for snacks. 
a few packs of my hot pickles for snacks for the week and then i grabbed two of these bag salads because i usually eat a couple salads a week for dinner and i've been getting the bag seasons from trader joe's which i like but they're not chopped and these ones at a target are not only good but they're chopped so i like that my lutha and my cleaning stuff and the black girl sunscreen so that's all we came for let me get up out of here before i find something else y'all it is so hot i dare not complain though because i'll look up and it's like 40 degrees but <laughs> bitch i'm baking and i went to um i went to target and i went there specifically for sunscreen and i think i mentioned earlier that i needed some drano i did not get no drano yeah i did not see no drano in that cart so i need to stop at this walgreens up here oh my god this shade feels so good i need to stop at this walgreens and get some drano because my oily ass body they clogged up the the tub i don't um wash my hair in the tub so it's not hair it has to be all of the oils and stuff that i wash off my body every day um anyway i just had to say that i didn't i did not get one of the main things that i went to target for but we're almost at Trader joe's my shirt is soaked i am so high but we're not complaining i'm not complaining i'm not complaining i'm not complaining okay i'm home and i didn't cooled off and y'all talking to my torso because i am about to make some of my hyperfixation meal but not for lunch for actual lunch not for lunch for work but actual lunch for the week and i'm also girl what is you talking about not actual work <laughs> Fuck. not actual lunch for work but lunch for today and dinner like i'm about to eat it all day but i also bought enough to make for lunch for this week too because i am just <laughs> can't get enough so ground beef we're gonna start browning that first so let me get that open y'all know how i feel about the whole i mean maybe y'all don't know some of y'all are new here but i fall on the side of the y'all can't see me but y'all can hear me i fall on the side of it's not necessary to wash meat um because if you cook it appropriately at the right temperature any bacteria will die um but i understand the cultural like you know we all grew up that way so i understand people doing it because that's what you're used to but i also believe in science and i'm the type of person where like you can't believe in science for some things and not in science for other things well you can you can do what you want to do but like it is what it is so when i'm at home i don't like wash i'm like I, when i cook for me i don't wash my meat i feel like i don't sit up and put chicken in vinegar and all that shit. i don't do that if it has too much like you know wet blood and stuff and i definitely pat it dry and you know pat all that, that stuff off of it but i also just make sure it's cooked to the appropriate temperature i ain't never got sick and i ain't gonna salmonella all over my kitchen but when i cook for other people because i know people are so like they have so many qualms about that i will like wash me but then you know i open stuff like hamburger meat right people use ground turkey and all that type of stuff which is essentially the same as chicken baby you're not rinsing no ground turkey so like where's your stand on that and also i worked in a restaurant baby you go in the restaurants to eat they're not washing no meat so like you're eating unwashed meat <coughs> anyway but you know that's not there no there that's a tangent that i always go on but i do respect other people um and since i know like for my friends if they coming over i'm like let me go ahead and soak this damn meat because they it gives them the ick so I just do it. Anyway, I season with just salt and um, garlic powder. And that's really it. I do sometimes use some of this 21 Salute seasoning from um, Trader Joe's because it has a bunch of herbs and stuff in it, but it doesn't add any real additional salt, I don't think. Let me make sure. Yeah, ain't no salt in here because, you know, I don't want no too much seasoning. But that's what I season it with. Not too much. Not too much. The 21 Salute. And then the garlic powder. So I let that brown most of the way. And then I cut up my veggies. Which I do wash. I wash my veggies. <laughs> Baby, people hate it, but you know, it is what it is to each their own. Um, so I let that cook most way through and then I cut up my veggies. Y'all can't even see that. I'm such a terrible blogger. I need to get the appropriate, um, what do you call that, tripod? I say that all the time. 
because I just be using my handheld tripod in here. Just because the big one, you gotta do too much to set that bitch up. And I just don't, oh, I'm just cursing. I'm doing too much cursing. You have to do too much to uh, set that up. And so, and I kind of like the peppers chunky because I be wanting a, a bite of, like a bite of a chunk of a pepper. And take the seeds out of here. Girl, that fire too high because why just sizzling like that? Anyway, so I'm gonna take a little bit of this pepper save that for um, the batch that I'm gonna make for this week so we'll just put that over there do a rough chop on this and then I'm gonna chop the tomatoes and chop half of this shallot and that's gonna go in there too so I've added the veggies in it's been cooking a little bit and I've drained the beans just a little bit I like to have a little bit of that bean juice in but I do rinse most of it off um, and I'm adding them and then I'll let them heat through right while the um, meat cooks all the way through because it's not all the way done so get that incorporated it's hard doing this with one hand baby please i gotta get my vlogging game up hold on i gotta sit y'all down okay that's better i'm gonna break some of these chunks down just a little more it's so good like i just i'm obsessed with it like it's delicious and then I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna let it um, produce some more liquid like some of the fat off of the uh, ground beef because I've drained it a couple times so the next time it produce enough fat I'm gonna keep it and then add the um, taco seasoning so you gotta have a little taco seasoning mixed with the fat and the juice from the beans like girl I can't never cook nothing without dropping nothing on my floor like ever and it's not meant to be like a healthy meal but I mean it's it's pretty healthy this is only about 85% lean 80 or 85% lean I don't like super lean meat that's just me it's just the taste per, uh, preference um, but it's still pretty lean um, and I don't use any like taco shells or anything like that so there's no carbs that's not purposefully like I'm not eating carbs it's just I like it over a bed of romaine lettuce um so yeah so it has a little bit of fat in it so i'm going to put the taco seasoning in it now and i just get the one from trader joe's or target whichever one i remember to pick up taco seasoning from that's a lot but it's a lot of meat and i didn't put very much salt in it because I knew I was going to use this whole pack of taco seasoning because I, I like the flavor. It is what it is. So I would not recommend putting a lot of salt on your meat and then turning around and using a whole pack of taco seasoning. That's just too much salt. I know we black. Well, a lot of us are black. I don't think all black people watch me, but to my black people, I know we like some good seasoning and I'm an advocate for seasoning your food. But be FFR. This is a lot of a lot of seasoning already. So anyway, that looks good. Usually, if it's a little too dry, I'll add some water. But that looks good and wet. So we'll we'll let that finish cooking through. Cut up some romaine. Throw this on top of it. I am making a mess. Throw this on top of it, and then um, add some cheese. And we got lunch. Period. And then, cause baby. Who cooking again? All right, so we have a whole head of romaine here. This is about to be a big old salad. But one, I went on a run, so I'm starving. Two, I did not eat breakfast, so I'm starving. And three, I usually eat big ass helpings. <laughs> big ass portions of things, because I only, I feel like I only eat real meals twice a day. That's not purposeful, that's not like a diet thing. It's just the way that my um, schedule is set up now because usually for breakfast I have a bowl of cereal and then a smoothie on the way out the door and then I have some sort of like hummus and chips or something as a snack um, and then I'll have um, whatever my lunch is and then I'll have another snack and then I come home and I eat dinner. Uh, and that's it. So I only have two real meals and they are usually humongous um servings of said meals because i feel like i only eat real food twice a day 
and I like food. So anyway, that explains the ginormous serving of taco salad. I'm gonna put a little cheese on top of it. Little cheese. I love sharp cheddar. That's enough. I do not feel like having a belly ache today. So just a little bit. Um, and then something I don't normally put on it, not for my lunch, because I do not like brown avocado. If I like was eating it at home like now, I put avocado on it every time. But when I'm taking it to work, I don't I don't put avocado. This I don't know if this is gonna be soft enough. Let's see. Um, but at work, I don't put avocado on it because I don't want to eat no brown avocado. That's enough. I'll put this in the refrigerator. We'll eat that on the dinner portion. But anyway, I'm gonna put a little avocado on top of it since I'm at home and it's pretty. I wish I had some lime juice to squeeze, but I didn't even think about that. Oh, well, we just gonna eat plain old avocado. It's enough seasoning in here to offset the blandness. I was gonna try to keep it cute for y'all, but I'm starving. I'm so hungry. Oh my God, come out. Girl. Plating fail. Anyway, that's the avocado on top of it. So this is my meal. I'm going to eat this. I'm going to fold the clothes that I washed, uh, edit down this vlog some, and then chill until it's time to go live. <laughs> So it's a little later, maybe like an hour or so later. Um, I was just in here to vibe it out to some music. That's uh, True Democracy, the album by Still Pulse, which I'm not gonna act like I just like listen to all the time. But I don't know, hold on, let me sit down. I don't know if I've ever mentioned on here, uh, I don't talk about family a lot on my socials, but um, I have an older brother. I have two older brothers. I have one older brother that's my actual brother. Then I have an older cousin that I grew up really closely with that I also call my brother. So just in case you hear me say brothers, plural, I'm referring to both my brother and my cousin. But anyway, I have an older brother um, who's incarcerated. And so we talk maybe twice a month. Like sometimes we'll go through a stretch where we get to talk like every um, week. I feel like y'all so far away. We get to talk like every week or whatever, like every Sunday. Like he called me last Sunday and I missed his call and that was the first time he had called in like a month and I was so mad. I was braiding my hair and I think I was like looking at some of my iPads and my phone was in here and I didn't hear it ringing. So he called me back this week, which I'm happy about. But um, we get like 10 minutes to talk to each other and it's crazy how much we can talk about in 10 minutes. Like we just be going, going like speed racing through topics. Um, I didn't have like a not close relationship. My brother was always around when I when I was growing up. He's older than me, like, you know, um, not by like a do dozens of years, but I think my brother, shh, I'm really bad with my siblings age uh, ages, but I think my brother may be close to 50, like he's in his late 40s. So he's at least 10 years older than I am or really close to 10 years older than I am. But him and even my older sister seemed so much older than me, even though we're really close in age. Like my sister right above me, my oldest sister right above me is only, if I'm 39, she's only 40, 39, 40, 41. She'll be 43 in June, right? So she's a little over three years older than I am. Then I'll turn 40 before she even turns 44. So like we are super close in age. Um, my sister right above her is only a couple years older than her. So she has me by like five years. So we're really close in age. And my brother maybe has me by nine, eight or nine years. Um, but we don't have like your typical, like really close sibling relationship because my mom passed away when I was so young, when I was 13. Um, and so, you know, they sort of stepped into like parental 
like figure roles. Even though my aunt took custody of us, my sisters, my older sisters, and my brother still sort of like slid into sort of like pseudo parental roles. And then also my two older sisters started having kids really young. So like, you know, I'm, I've been an auntie since I was like, <laughs> fucking not ten, nine even before then because my brother started having kids really young as well um so they just all sort of grew up fast and we didn't have a lot in common we didn't have a lot of time to like do sister brother things in common because they grew up fast because they were parents and all of that type of stuff but anyway we are learning so much about each other like in these conversations that we have we've we never talk like my, I, I swear i rarely heard my brother talk unless he was like setting me straight or whatever when i was a kid so it's just interesting to like talk to him about like interests and you know my thoughts and just like stuff like that and finding out that we have so much in common like i always feel like like me and my sisters have absolutely nothing in common and that's because me and my brother are exactly alike. Like we are exactly like down to like music, you know, the, our interests, our thought processes. And so it's just really fun to get to know him, even if it's through, you know, two 10 minute calls a month. Um, I do truly feel in my heart that he is going to get out a lot earlier um, than he's slated to get out. Like I just feel it in my heart. I had to gather myself. I know, I just feel it in my heart and I feel like we're going to be able to, that was unexpected. But what I was saying is, I feel like we'll be able to nurture our relationship like together before we're like old and gray. So like, I'm not really even worried about it, but I wanna, I had to delete some space off of my camera. Also, what the, stop playing in the hallway. Like people in my building are making so much no noise in the hallway. Um, but anyway, I was saying I am just trying to make the best of what we do have right now. Um, and just am really happy that we are establishing a relationship, like a sister brother relationship that we just didn't, you know, circumstances didn't allow for us to have, um, because of what happened, um, with our mom. So, you know, I want to try to bring that same type of like, um, relationship building to my sisters because we just we haven't gotten it right we be trying but we just haven't really gotten it right um and so i think for my 40th birthday i was going to do like a big friend trip but i think i'm actually going to do like a girls trip but like family edition so like my sisters my nieces um i might have to make it just like a family trip because i have um my nephew london like where is he gonna go if like all of the adults are gone so it probably i just probably end up inviting my nephews um to and just do like a family they pissing me off um doing like a family trip instead of like a friend's trip to celebrate my 40th birthday and probably just go somewhere you know domestic so it doesn't like cost everybody a lot of money but just like you know sp spend time with them maybe like new york like some one of my favorite places or new orleans i'm thinking maybe go to new orleans to my favorite place with my family for my 40th birthday i think that'll be pretty cool but that's just something um i've been thinking about and just thought i'd share with y'all a little bit about my brother i don't think i've ever talked about him on social for real um while we were on the phone though i did go ahead and fold those clothes ooh, ooh, i did go ahead and fold those clothes so that's done and i left the shirt that i was talking about um from h m the workout shirt so it's just an h m sport shirt and it just is just like a normal shirt but it's like a sports material and it's super stretchy and like i said they ended up sending me the wrong size this is like an extra small so it fits so skeet on me um but it's like super snug and just tight and it's cute and it looks like a regular shirt but it's like that sweat resistant material and i just love the way that it looks with just like a pair of black uh leggings because y'all know i only i literally only work out in black clothes um so i just wanted to show y'all sort of what it looks like i ordered five of these just so i could like literally have one for every day of the week um but i got them in a size medium so it's not like <laughs> this little extra small be rolling up my stomach i went ahead and got the appropriate size for my body speaking of my body i am starting to see the type of results um that i'm used to that i want to see and so it, it was really just about like refocusing 
my energy and all that stuff around my workouts anyway i think that's it for the vlog i think i'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up i'm gonna take a nap and then get ready for live so i really don't have anything else going on um and i didn't got the crying on the internet and i'm ashamed so i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up for the week thank y'all so much for watching make sure if you haven't already that you like comment subscribe uh, follow me over on socials if you're into that type of thing and uh, make sure you're checking for my shorts throughout the week I'll be uploading them as I have I'm not gonna force myself to just upload anything every day but as I have um, good things to upload I'll upload them so make sure you look out for those and I will talk to y'all in next week's vlog bye